Greetings everyone, this is Dungan, and I have a little something special because we have reached a little something special on my channel. I saw this morning that I reached 21,700 views on all of my videos, and that is a landmark for me. I, I don't really celebrate full numbers, uh, like view numbers and video numbers, things like that. I don't really celebrate with the exceptions of uh, 217 related stuff because February 17th is my birthday and we have reached 21,700 views on my channel in my videos and that has me quite happy and unfortunately I don't really have something planned for this event. But I did think of something offhand, and is this is this, and you might recognize parts of it. A tree with red trim. It's kind of a big hint. But a long time ago, I started a CTM map. A long time ago, and. In that map, there was it was a sandstone world based like legendary sands like a sandstone cave world and a few rooms, of like at the second intersection I think, I had the caves lead to this area, and this is all underground and it was square and like sandstone walls and all this was dirt but this area is my I don't know what to really call it my it's Kokiri for Forest Kokiri Forest from Ocarina of Time the Legend of Zelda series and Ocarina of Time is my favorite game and while most recreations of Ocarina of Time that I've seen are exact replicas and I could have done an exact replica as close as I could to the actual game but I've always felt they're very stale and they're very 2D even though it's 3D Minecraft's 3D they always felt flat and what I wanted to do here with Kokiri Forest was to make it not flat so make it my own interpretation of it and that's what I did here and that's this was months ago um, I was brand new to voxel sniper at the time uh, no it wasn't even voxel sniper at the time um, I was using world edit with single player commands I believe um, but that CTM I didn't really like how it was headed and um, like some of the parts of it I did not like at all it just felt off so I scrapped that whole project but I wanted to save Kokiri Forest in itself so what I did was copy that as a schematic and put it in a new world um, then I got rid of all the sandstone walls this is when voxel sniper came in and I voxel snipered a new a new mountain typed wall surrounding and uh, turned it to stone, turned it to grass, uh, and clean it up a little bit more, and then I kind of left it as is. Um, I did begin work on the area through here to the Dooku tree, or as I had it planned, the Dooku tree and the Dooku tree scrub. The scrub this is set to we're loading. Let me reload that. So we're uh this was set to take place the whole scene after the events well after the events of Ocarina of Time and where the Dooku tree scrub was grown and the world was saved and all that. So and then I just wanted to make recreate more areas of Ocarina of Time if, with my own imagination and thoughts behind each of the areas and no attention uh, 
exact duplica de like exact detailing and things you might see with other projects like it and then I kind of got sidetracked with making race for wool and PvP stuff and all that and I kind of let this go had it in reserves for quite a while and I thought it was a good I think this is a good time since one of my favorite youtubers R. Smalik is coming out with a lost CTM map soon and lost is his favorite show I believe that's his words and Lost is my favorite show. That is 100% true. Um, and I'm quite excited to see that. And in his voice, when he was talking about this in one of his recent videos in Gift Warp, he had a very energetic tone, a very inspired tone. And that's something that I myself have been lacking recently. And I want to bring that energetic tone back. And instead of focusing on, uh, like, my favorite TV show, well, Lost, well, that's already being done right now, and I don't want to do any sort of, do that myself at the same time. That will be kind of awkward and weird and pointless, but I wanted to continue something that I've felt inspiration for and have a great passion for and that this is Ocarina of Time which is the first video game I remember playing um, with any sort of consistency or regularity and Ocarina of Time is my favorite game and I also already had this started so that was a great reason to continue this is Link's house Apparently has vines in it. Don't know why I decided to do that. Um, what's in here? Don't know what that was all about, but okay. Um, get launched. <laughs> Sorry, doggy, but but with that being all said. I want to pick up this project again and get the inspiration I heard in Arsenalic's voice in the last video because that's something I've been lacking since my fourth race rule has came out way back in very early February and I want to pick this up however I'm not sure whether to pick this up as a CTM or an adventure map or maybe even both but since the way I have this built right now is just stone walls and on the opposite side of it is nothing. Um, it will lead to other areas like the Deku Tree but I have no plans to put this underground and no plans to make these walls go all the way up and have bedrock sheets to control the flow of the map so I'm not really sure how good it might be or how directed um, the flow of the map, the progression would flow with it being a full CTM so with adventure maps where you can't place the break blocks as a generic rule of them oh, I think and since these walls are already here and there's no way to scale them without breaking anything there's no way to just like jump from block to block and actually reach the top and go over the edge so while some of this like this part here where I said can you make a cobble generator and gave you both this water and lava a bonus challenge use water to make a large farm I don't think this would really work since it's an invention map but you can't even break this glass and things like this skeleton spawner that I made for easy farming for a CTM map and remember this was a few intersections into the original CTM map so uh, things like that would have been fine for how it was going and so yeah um, I think adventure map might fit the theme more and I can actually work on some sort of story I actually do have did have some story involved um, I'll have to cover up all the coal 
and things like that for an adventure map just to not distract the player uh, too much but um, making it a full s adventure map I feel might be a better move at this point and maybe having a CTM version of it um, the monument will have to come down and the chest redone that's not effective use of shields degree sticks and maybe with it being an adventure map I could work on a texture pack and give myself um, actually let me go do that IP hider so you can't see any of the IPs but with the texture pack I have I worked on a little bit I made like gold ore and iron ore like white stone uh, white stone bricks and dark stone bricks blue even I also have a full money money system set up gold nuggets and ingots and all sorts of cool stuff that I could actually use to build a red cobblestone all sorts of things that I could use to actually enhance aesthetics of an adventure map um, better bricks better nether brick um, I turn the pink planks into burnt down planks kind of like old worn down I guess and oh yes the bow the bows oh this is an enchanted bow so let me get a normal one but it's it could be a hero's bow um, I really like the looks of this bow and so yeah, uh, taking a look at this texture pack and things I could do with an adventure map with this theme especially with the books coming out and all the new features my item dropper that I made in the Red, in Redstone tutorial a few weeks back and these are invisible stone slabs um, you can see through the world if they're a full block but if they're half a block they still hinder movement and I could use that to close off areas like the lost woods or something until you unlock it from the other side like in Goron Village where you break the stones and get a shortcut through and as you can see I have definitely need to remove the coal ore which is the white stone with normal but is it and it just basically more aesthetic default takes the blocks that you won't normally see in an adventure map like the ores and turns it into something that will be useful like different types of stone bricks and then with the language pack which hopefully gets some support by Mojang soon um, to add custom languages but you could make it so instead of this saying gold ore it could say dark stone brick or something so in case the player picks it up they could uh, see that it's not a lie I guess dark stone brick is not a lie but <laughs> um, so yes for the special I just wanted to show off this build because it's been sitting I've been sitting on it for quite a while and I just wanted to show it off a little bit serious house apples um, the items will need to be sorted out again um, but this is just my interpretation Milo's house do you have a sword and a shield wow that really came out stuttery but um, I wanted to find one some but as you can see there's like some cleanup I need to do around this area I've been doing it on camera here potion master's house yeah, uh, and it's not fully Ocarina of Time. Um, the Potion Master here is from Wind Waker. Um, and the Know All Bros House. Books. I have these cool looking chandelier things. And 
I re can't seem to find it, but there's Makar's house. Or as I like to call it, right here. Makar, Makar, as I like to call him. Um, because that's the sound he makes. And. Hello, hi. Definitely. But, I want to pick up this project. Um, I, I do not have any PvP maps planned. Um, I don't. Not really inspired to make PvP maps because that's all I've seen them make, and I want to make something else, something different for me, and something that I'm very inspired with. And yeah, so this project will continue on. Um, my main project, um, these would be pretty cool for the water temple. <laughs> that's so far down along the line, though, but. Suddenly melee. But thanks for watching. Um, this little preview is my small way of celebrating 21.7. This that came out where 21.7 thousand video views, and I appreciate every one of them, and I appreciate everyone who subscribed in the past and who found um, my channel deserved their subscription and I just want to thank you for all for that and to stop me from rambling on I'll just say this is Dungan and I will see you next time